Start with ratings in for Caitlin Clark. Game one of her WNBA career, the matchup between the Indiana Fever and Connecticut Sun brought in 2.13 million viewers. That is the most watched WNBA game in almost 23 years. Memorial game wow. between, two th uh, between the Sparks and Houston in 2001 averaged 2.45 million viewers. Now, why this number matters to me, not only did it top the NHL playoffs at the same time, but it ran right up against the New York Knicks and Indiana Pacers, which is her home state. Yeah. If you take that game out of the equation, I'm going to tell you right now, it would be well north of 3 million viewers. The ratings are going to be massive. Attendance is going to be huge. All good signs, despite the 10 turnovers. That's what I wanted. Clark. That's what I wanted to ask you. Still 20 points. I think she did it. Yeah, game high. Pretty well. Yeah, uh, considering the circumstances. But was the arena sold out? You were at the game. It was packed. Every seat was taken. The real miss that I can't quite figure out. And I'm trying to reach out to the WNBA and to fanatics. No Caitlin Clark merchandise for sale in the arena, despite the fact that... I thought they were sold out. I would say the only T-shirts I saw, maybe one or two or three Connecticut Sun shirts, yeah. everyone had the number 22 T-shirts on. Yeah. Zero jerseys, which sold out instantly. You can't get them until August. That was a huge miss by this league. Interesting. We're told it was Nike manufacturing times. But, man, they have got to get merch out yeah. there into the hands of the consumer that wants right, it. Right, so that was the case. So the jerseys sold out almost initially. But you're yes. saying the T-shirt swag should have been on better display, too. Well, it wasn't for sale. And, and maybe they're not going to sell it in road arenas. But I don't know why you wouldn't. This right. is a about growing the game's revenue Personal. in order to play these pairs more. That's what you have to do. For a sold-out arena. It'll be fun to watch. She plays in Brooklyn on Saturday against the New York Liberty, so that'll be another game. Plays I tonight, home opener. In Indiana. In Indi and and I, I was really surprised. I checked out the secondary ticket market. Now, there's never been a secondary ticket market for the WNBA until Caitlin Clark. But you can get tickets for as cheap as $7. Where? $7 That's on good. StubHub. Hundreds below twenty dollars. Yeah, weeks ago I saw them priced at two hundred bucks in Brooklyn. That's a costly ticket, but you know what? She commends those high prices. Yeah.